Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Swiss Miss Cafe Blends. These are cocoa coffee blends. I have the mocha. I have caramel macchiato. These were sent to us from Daniel in Missouri, so thank you very much to Daniel. Um, I, they may have these here, I just, I have not noticed them. I haven't noticed them either. Hot chocolate is not something that we buy all the time, so it's fun for us to get to try these. So, you have six envelopes. I'll show they're you. Like a, they're packaged are. like a coffee bag, kind of. They look like this. They have instructions on each bag mm -hmm. individually. Nice. So, if you want to throw it in your purse, take it to work, or, or you know, whatever, throw it in your backpack and take it to work, uh, then uh, you can do that and you'll have the directions right there with you. So, how did you make these? I do them in the Keurig just with hot water, eight ounces of hot water. Um, it did say, it did say eight ounces of hot water. It said you could, for a richer flavor, you could add milk. Right. But it didn't say you had to add milk, it just said you could add milk. So we right. just did it with water. Yeah, whenever we can use water, we do. Uh, I think you add it, you do it with water and then you can add milk to make it richer. So it was like you make it with water. Right. And then you could add some milk and make it creamier. I can see that. So you could top it off a little yeah. bit. Because right now these cups are only, they're to right here. Maybe two thirds full. Yeah. Maybe that probably. So it says uh, with the perfect balance of imported cocoa and caffeine from Real Espresso Coffee, Swiss Miss Cafe Blends is the sweet pick-me-up you need without the caffeine overload. It's a rich, rejuvenating combination that will have you coming back for more. One envelope, 34 grams, is 150 calories of the mocha. Which is not as bad as some. We've had no, some but it is 150 calories yeah. and it's only yeah. there. So sip it. Yeah, but we've had other ones that <laughs> were... $300. <laughs> These are made by ConAgra Brands, or distributed. Chicago, Illinois, gluten-free. Just tastes like chocolate to me. I don't get a... I like that. I don't get a coffee flavor. I do. I Thin. will... Yes, I do. I get an underlying... It, um, Maybe, like, like under the coffee. I mean, under the chocolate flavor. Did you ever have the International Delights, like no, Swiss Mocha, like or it reminds me, if you've ever had the Swiss Mocha, it's, it reminds me of that type of flavor. I really like that. I used to love to drink Swiss Mocha, um, but uh, yeah, I haven't had it in many, many years, but I like that quite yeah. a bit. It, it's good. It's, a, it's not quite as sweet as I was hoping it would be, but it's still good. No, it's on the darker side. Yeah. But you do get a mocha flavor. I think it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just it's just a nice uh, mocha flavor. Now the you like mocha? Smells good to yes, me. the caramel macchiato. Uh, with the this one, the mocha said with the flavors of dark chocolate and smooth roasted espresso. Makes sense. This one says with the flavors of creamy caramel and smooth roasted espressos, and this is 170 calories, so we've gone up a little bit. Definitely get caramel. Yes. It's, uh, it's much sweeter than the mocha. Um, it is sweeter. Um, and it does have a very strong caramel flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's mostly caramel. There's, there's a touch of coffee, like, bitterness there but not a lot no i don't get much coffee at all but it's supposed to be smooth roasted so yeah, maybe that's why you can't taste this but i'm gonna be honest with you i like the mocha one better i do yeah, i like I, the caramel i really like that uh that kind of swiss mocha type flavor um and that darker flavor i just i think it's very very nice yeah. but I, I think i like the caramel too but i think both of these are good quality oh yeah they're, they're definitely good quality mm -hmm. it's just whatever flavor you like, you know, you pick the ones that sounds most interesting to you and try it out because I do think it's a good product. And we don't, do you know, you don't know how much it is. I have no so, idea how much Daniel paid for. They're usually all about the same price anyway, all the pre done hot chocolate. So it's definitely worth trying out. Now that we've tried them though, this happens sometimes. You know, somebody will send me something and I will have never noticed it on the shelf before. And then we'll go in Walmart and we'll be like, 
oh, they have these, they're right there. But if, if somebody hadn't sent it to me, we would have never noticed it before. So they might have other varieties of this. I have no idea. They might have like a, a French vanilla or something like that. You never know. But I do think this is a very, very good brand. If you like uh, hot chocolate already and you're oh, yeah. buying it all the time, Either one of these would be yeah, good. Can't miss with Swiss Miss. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you can find these coffee blends in your area. And thanks for watching.